Kevin Barnett on Supercross Live, supercrossonline.com, track walk time, and a man that I look up to, especially after last week's finish, Mike Alessi. Mike, talk about your fourth place finish. Uh, it was a great weekend. Uh, I'd like to step down, though. <laughs> Come on down. There we go. There. I, I spent too much time being taller than you guys. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, the last weekend was great. Got a fourth and uh, had a nice, uh, fun, consistent uh, weekend. There goes Jim moving the hay bale out of the way. We got to get him in there. Look at him. Oh, he's giving us the backside now. Jim Holly, always working. He's giving us the backside. Uh, like I said, it was a great weekend and great for our team and Moto Concepts. And uh, I've been consistent this whole season, right inside top 10. And uh, lucky enough to get a good start, finish fourth, and uh, my best finish since 2009 uh, in Seattle. So for me, it was a great finish and look forward to keeping the ball rolling here in Atlanta. Yeah, it seems like your program is really rounding into shape mid-season. It is. You know, it is. Uh, we're working very hard on the motorcycle to get it better and better. And, uh, you know, just like I said, you got to keep getting good starts. Put yourself in a good position to be up front, racing the top guys, and, uh, yeah, see, see if we can have some more fun. You mentioned earlier in the year being inspired by Chad Reed and what he had done. Talk about what you like most about running your own program. Well, it kind of gives you the freedom, but um, more than anything, you know, it, I'd like to, you know, send out, you know, it's a, best wishes to Chad and hopefully he gets better you know it's it's tough to lose a competitor like that someone who was putting his heart and soul into this series and you know his determination his drive his hunger you know he he really wanted this this season and, and you could see it in his riding and, and he was giving Ryan everything he could handle and and it's just it's unfortunate that he, the way it went down that he crashed and he got injured so badly that uh, it, it's really going to hurt the series, you know, and, and, and like I said, to see somebody giving that much effort 100% all the time, his will, his drive, his hunger, his determination for his family, his sponsors, I mean, and I, it's just, it makes me a little sad, you know, especially when I heard that he got hurt, it, you know, no, nobody wants to see any of the riders get hurt, you know, we're all warriors out here and, you know, we're determined to do the best that we can and, and uh, you know, I just wish Chad, you know, the best recovery and uh, come back soon. Getting back to you and your program, Coming into the season, new bike, new team, completely new arrangement. I know you want to step out and win every single week, but now are your expectations rising given last week's result? Well, I mean, like I said, I just wanted to keep doing the best that I can, you know, you know, scratch and claw and do the best that I can on my starts and, and my consistency in the laps, hitting my apex of the turns, the whoops, the jumps, and just trying to you know, do the best that I can. That's really it. Talk about the track this week, looking right now, coming off this tabletop into a dragon back, kind of a neat feature, and then the wall heading into the sand section. Right now, you know, the track looks pretty technical. And once we get out there, we'll kind of size it up and see where we're going to be and what we're going to jump and, and everything like that. So right now, it's just, uh, you know, like I said, track walk and see how we're going to size up everything. But once we start riding, we'll figure it all out real quick. Thanks, Mike. Put it on the box this week. Thank you.